What's going on, y'all? How are you doing today? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Dunham Outdoors. Uh, I hope y'all are having a great weekend. It is Saturday afternoon, and I am hungry tonight for some shark. So, a while ago, not a while ago, last Saturday, we were out fishing at the beach, and um, we, we go every year for my birthday, I go fishing. So, I was throwing everything I had, and I couldn't get any bites. So I walked out one time to cast, and um, what, what I did is I noticed there was a whole bunch of mullets swimming in the surf. So I went back to get my cast net, and um, I cast netted a whole bunch of mullet, right? So I was super excited, so I went out, and I threw out a bunch of mullet, live mullet, for bait. Because if that's what's in the surf, then that's what, that's what the uh, predators are going to be eating on. That's what I want to target, right? I really wanted to catch some reds. But anyways, so I go out, I cast out, and with not even within a minute, okay? My first rod bends over, bends in half, and that drag just starts screaming. I'm up out of my seat. I don't know if y'all ever seen a 300-pound man run, but I can do it when I hear that drag go, okay? And I, I take off running, I grab that pole, and I fight it for a little while, and I'm just using a little, a, uh, a pin battle 8000, and a... Uh, what is it, a pen squall 20 level one. And if you watch my previous videos, you'll see what those are. But, uh, so I mean, they, those, those aren't meant for anything too, too big. I pulled a couple reds in on them, um, but decent little shark's gonna pull some drag, you know? So I get them in, and it's a little, about three and a half foot black tip, okay? And there's two good sharks that, that are, there's two species of sharks that are pretty decent to eat, in my opinion. And that's your black tip shark, and that is your uh, mako, okay? The cleaner meats. Black tips are still, for sharks, I guess it's what you would prefer. But uh, mako is probably the cleanest eating one, in my opinion. Uh, I, I just really don't eat sharks very often. It's one of those things I just rather not deal with. When you clean them, they'll ruin your knives. They smell like like pee, to be honest. They, they stink really bad. They, they constantly... Um, from the research I've done, I found that I found out that they just one of the reasons they smell so bad, like ammonia or urine, is they just emit their urine through their skin, right? Um, so that's why they smell so bad when you go to clean them. And their skin is like sandpaper; it's like a leather wallet covered in sandpaper. It's real hard; it'll mess your knife up. So, um, anyways, when I pulled in this black tip shark. He was tangled up real bad, okay? Now, I've caught some decent-sized sharks in my day. And, uh, you know, I was thinking this little three-footer, I mean, no big deal. So I just, I had him by the tail, and I was sitting here, and I, I just had my hands like this, okay? And I was just, I was trying to get the, my, my line and my leader untangled from around his tail, right? When I did that, I got the shark hanging down here, okay? Well, that thing whipped up. And locked on tomorrow okay and I'm telling you the second it hit me it let go and I, I, I was just instantly I just you know I, I knew what happened I don't know how to describe it just like time froze for a second I was like you've got to be freaking kidding me I know I didn't just get bit by a shark like like I know what I'm doing what what the hell right so anyways I throw that damn thing on the ground I step on its head and uh, it's still tangled up really really bad and uh, so I went ahead and I put it out of its misery and, uh, you know, started to bleed it out and got it untangled. And then I, I hurried up and there there was a big hole. I'll, I'll post pictures. Okay. So there was a hole cut out of my shirt and it was a perfect jaw, like a jaw outline, just a clean cut right here. And uh, I was just in panic mode because I was bleeding. And... Uh, I normally don't bleed very bad at all for anything, but I, I was bleeding. And I hurried up and ran to the truck, and I never carry a first aid kit or nothing. I do now. Um, but all I had was a couple bottles of water, and because of COVID, I've been carrying around some hand sanitizer. So that's all I had, because everyone knows shark bites, you, it's not necessarily, you got to worry about the bite, obviously, but it's more so the infection that it could cause. So what I did was, I... Uh, I wash it off with a fresh bottle of water, and I put some hand sanitizer on it. Man, that, that burned, right? 
So I got it cleaned up and I will, I'll post a picture. All I got was three little teeth in me and you can't even see the marks now, okay? But it, it, I just am so lucky, it's crazy. So if I still got the pictures, I'll post them. Um, I, I just couldn't believe how lucky I was. But my shirt told a different story. My shirt, you can see the very clear jaw outline of where it bit me. And, uh, so anyways, the whole reason I'm telling you all that is it bit me, so we bit it back, right? So we're about to get that cleaned up. I didn't show the cleaning process because a lot of people aren't going to like it. Um, shark's not like a pretty thing to clean. Um, it, it's not. I guess eventually I could post a video on how to do it. It's just not something I do very often. And, uh, you know, honestly, I, I don't really like taking sharks uh, but it, it was tangled up pretty bad and it looked like it had been so uh, anyways I, I I took this one I figured why not get some black tip to eat me and my family to enjoy and uh, do a little video for you guys so anyways it bit me we're fitting to bite it back I'm gonna show you what I did so right here I've got I've shared some of this with my friend as well so I've got chunks I don't know how well you can see that a black tip. So the cool thing about sharks is they don't have any bones. Okay, so you can see their skin. It's like sandpaper, but their body, all they have is a single line of cartilage down the middle. Okay, let me see if I can break this out. Here's a small piece that's that was closer to the tail. Okay, like this. It's just that one single line. I'm telling you, as soon as I open the bag, I clean this stuff off real good before I put it in there, and it stinks. It's just not pretty. The meat looks good though. So all I do when I clean these things, right? Is I'll, I'll take the head off and uh, get the guts out and everything. And I just cut steaks. I use just a regular steak knife, okay? Because I do not want to dull up my good, my good fillet knives. So I just take my regular steak knife and I just saw through, cut me some steaks. We're good to go. Um, so now all I've got to do is now that I've got the steaks, I'm not going to dull my knife, right? So I can take my pieces of shark. Okay, here's one of the, the pieces I was closer towards the uh, where the guts were. I just take my fillet knife, go around the edge of the meat, and get the skin off, and then I can wring out that line of cartilage right there, and it'll be ready to, to season and cook how I want to cook it. So what we're going to do today, I don't feel like dirtying up the kitchen because I don't feel like cleaning it. My wife is out of town for the week, so I don't feel like cleaning very much. So we're going to make as little mess as possible, which is going to be hard. So I'm probably just going to season these up let them soak in milk for probably about an hour and uh some buttermilk some whole milk and uh and then i'm just gonna season them lightly and then pan fry them and uh so anyway i just want to walk y'all through that tell you my cool little story explain to y'all what we're fixing to get into and uh that'll be that so i'll get back with you once i get these puppies cleaned up let them soak in milk and uh Whenever I get ready to season them and throw them in a skillet, I'll get back with you, okay? So, I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, well, I just got done cutting up all that, that black tip. And I recommend doing it outside. My entire kitchen. And I'm sure my living room and, you know, I don't know how far back you can smell it. I'm tired. But, uh, stinks like ammonia. Um, so I've got the meat sitting in a bowl full of milk and uh, I'm going to let that sit there for probably about, you know, an hour. See if it can help get some of that flavor out of there. One other trick I'll do is, uh, I'll, I'll let it sit in milk for a while, but then I'll let it soak in some soy sauce for about 15 minutes and I'll give it a real good teriyaki flavor. And I don't know anything that can withstand the soy sauce. Once you hit, hit it with that soy sauce, it's game over. Um. Uh, yeah, that stuff is just so potent it'll it'll penetrate that meat and that'll overrule any other nasty smells or flavors or anything like that so uh we're gonna let that soak in milk and then if we need to i kind of want to do a teriyaki flavor on it because that'd be pretty good um but we'll see i don't know if i have any soy sauce but anyway thought i'd let y'all know i recommend doing it outside but it's like 100 degrees outside and 
Um, I'm here by myself, so I don't care how bad it smells right now. It'll air out in an hour or two. So, anyways, I'll get back with you. All right, y'all. So next, I got everything prepped in the bowls. Right here, you can see I got my shark. I got it cut in the nuggets, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to use almond flour. I know it's not regular flour, cornmeal, whatever, but that's keto. And that's pretty important to me. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use that as like, that like our base. I'm going to put my favorite thing in there with it okay so uh that's what we're gonna base base them in i'm gonna pull that them shark bites off kind of be like nuggets i guess and um uh, i'm gonna let them drain them from the milk i'm gonna coat them in soy sauce real good and that'll be like my liquid base and then i'll dump the nuggets into a bag full of almond flour and this and the way i mix that is you just put you know about a cup of almond flour in a bag and uh you know cup half cup and then sprinkle as much at, at the more flavor you want it to have the more of this you put in the less flavor you want it to have the less this you put in uh so you sprinkle some of this in until it looks good to you which i'll show you me doing that on camera and then um uh, that's it and then shake them up in the bag and then dump them in the fry or uh, in this case in the pan or skillet or whatever so i'm gonna get that going and i'll get back with you all right you guys so here we have our shark nuggets and uh they were in milk drained them out real good here's my soy sauce this is going to give them an awesome like kind of a teriyaki flavor which I, I really like so then since i've been on keto i've had quite the hankering there we go see just like that don't need too much just a little bit and it'll it'll get absorbed up in there um uh, since I've been on keto, I've had just a crazy hankering for some Chinese food. Because I love Chinese food. Man, I go to Panda Express or, you know, China Buffet, whatever, and I'll tear that thing up. But can't do that no more. And that stinks. So if I can get my little Chinese flavor fix on some shark bites, that's what we're going to do. But anyways, let that sit for about 15 minutes. I'm still getting the batter going, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right, you guys. So here, got my uh, my my almond flour. Okay. So do going back to the baggies. Love my baggies, you guys. Got one cup of this almond flour. Dump it right there in the bag. Okay. That's it. Don't need very much. Just like that. Okay. One cup. Now, come over here. I'm kind of rethinking the chupacabras because I am going with that teriyaki flavor. Um, I just don't really know what else I've got um, as far as seasoning goes. I don't think I have too much else right now as far as seasoning. So, you guys are so lucky. What is this, like the third time that uh, we've cracked open a new seasoning on here? Uh, so, very fresh, very good. Look at that. Brand new. Love it. So, we're just going to take this. We don't need this because it just slows us down. We're gonna take this in our bag and just that ought to be good. I'd say that's about a yeah, about a quarter cup, maybe an eighth cup, somewhere in there. Uh, oh, that smell! I love that chupacabra, man. Oh, that smells so good. And then gonna give it a good old shake. And uh, let's take a look at that, okay? So I think. I think I might want to add a little bit more seasoning, okay? A little bit. Maybe two more tablespoons. Give her a good shake. And that's it. I like the way that looks a lot. I think that is pretty. Let's see if y'all can get that. Yeah, that's real pretty. That's going to taste really good. So. Make this one up for the shark. I got a timer going for 15 minutes in that soy sauce. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some butter in my pan, get that preheating, and uh, I'll get back with you when that's ready. All right. So I don't know if y'all remember my technique. So all I do is I strained out the meat, okay? Strained it out. 
and then I put it in the back with the seasoning and that's it easy 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 such an even coating all around and no mess I love my bag so that's all we're gonna do I don't know if y'all can hear it but I got that butter popping so we're about to start dropping the meat into the butter that's it we'll be be golden in all right y'all here we go it's gonna start dropping the dropping the shark bites into the butter okay here we go that's good oh that looks good be very careful not to burn yourself this is hot and i'm probably gonna burn myself so there we go we're just gonna cover the pan we got the butter going nice and nice and slow don't want to have it too hot because don't want to burn anything i wish you could smell this oh it smells so good i gotta quit doing this to you guys I know this looks amazing, but man, if y'all could smell it, I'm sure you can pretend what it smells like. There we go. I just got a couple more pieces. They're not going to fit. I used a small pan so I can make my butter last a little bit better. Turn this up just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to get my tongs ready. I'm going to get a paper plate ready. And uh, that'll be it. So we're just going to let that go. Just for a few minutes on each side. Now that the temperature drop, I dropped that cold fish in there. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to let it go pretty good on both sides. And then once I do that, uh, I'll pull it out, set it on here, and let it cool. And then I will tell you all how great it tastes. So I'll get back with you here in a minute. All right, you guys. So this stuff has actually turned out to be too delicate to flip with my tongs. We're just gonna do it like this. So all I did was I let her go for about three minutes on this side. Now we'll do about three minutes on this side. But I hope y'all can see that color. My kitchen. I was complaining a minute ago it smelled like ammonia. That's gone. Okay. Now, all it smells like is amazing fried fish. And I am so happy about that. So, what I did was, I got me a paper plate with some paper napkins. And uh, you're going to want that to absorb all the grease. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to let this go for about three minutes. We're going to pull it off and let it cool. And I'll get back with you. Alright. Shark is done. Man, let me tell you. Let me see. Let me see what I'm doing here. It turned out pretty good, right? That looks pretty good. So, little taste test. You can see what it looks like. Okay. Man, that's good. A little teeny tiny teriyaki flavor. But not a lot, not overpowering. Look how white that meat is. It is just so good. I, it's hard to describe the taste. Doesn't have any kind of a fishy smell to it. Um, and you smell a slight like teriyaki flavor, but there's no fishy taste to it. It um, it's almost like a really soft um, teriyaki chicken, basically. Um, really excellent, really great, and I'm going to, man, I'm going to eat the rest of this, maybe not the rest of it, but I'm going to eat some dinner, and, uh, go take me a swim in the pool, and go to bed, I got work in the morning, but, anyways, thank y'all for tuning in with me, thank y'all for, for, uh, watching me cook some delicious, uh, shark meat, and, uh, as always, y'all stay safe, tight lines, and, Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. One more thing, please, before y'all go, um, do me a huge favor and uh, please comment down below what you thought. If you have any tips, tricks, or recipes, just please do that for me and I'll get back to it. Um, 
please hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, it, it means the world to me. And, and hopefully, eventually, I can do this full time. And, um, you know, just go fish and, and do barbecue and, and do all this awesome stuff and share it with you guys and, and be able to take care of my family doing so. So please help me out. Hit like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And I really appreciate it. So thank you all so much. Once again, y'all stay safe, tight lines, and I'll see you next time.